Hi, yeah, I'm here today to talk you through your plate boundaries. There are three types of plate boundaries that you must know. The first is destructive, also known as a convergent plate boundary. The second is a constructive, also known as a divergent plate boundary. And the third is a conservative, also known as a transform plate boundary. So first up is a destructive plate boundary. Now destructive plate boundaries form where two plates are moving towards one another. Now driven by convection current in the mantle, oceanic plate, which is more dense, moves towards the continental plate, which is less dense. Now the oceanic plate sub ducks or moves below the continental plate as it is more dense and heavier, forming what is called a subduction zone. Now the subducting crust is subject to friction, increasing pressure and heat, causing the plate to melt. So as these plates grind together through the process of subduction, earthquakes can result due to the high pressure and large release of seismic energy. Now the area that this occurs in is called the Benayaf zone. The melting of plates produces magma, which in turn finds its way back to the surface over time, creating magma chambers and volcanic mountains. Now, fold mountains can also occur along these boundaries as the continental crust is crumpled up as it moves above the oceanic plate. Second is a constructive plate boundary. Now, constructive plate boundaries occur where two plates are moving apart from one another in opposite directions. Now, as these plates move apart, cracks and fissures form in the gap, allowing magma to push through the highly pressurised interior of the earth. Now, the magma that fills this gap rises to the surface, spreads and cools to solidify and produce new land. Now, a good example of this process is found along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Finally, you have conservative plate boundaries. Now, conservative plate boundaries form where two plates are moving alongside one another, either in the same direction or in opposing directions. Now, as the plates move alongside one another, they grind on one another and can sometimes get locked together. Now, over time, a buildup of pressure occurs, which, when released, sends strong seismic waves through the Earth's crust, causing very strong earthquakes. Now, a good example of this boundary is the San Andreas Fault, as you can see in front of you, whilst a good example of an earthquake occurring on this boundary would be the Christchurch earthquake of 2011.